portion of scripture found in St. Mark chapter 11 and verse 22, one of the greatest lessons in faith ever recorded, is when Jesus is talking with his disciples and he says to them, have faith in God, or more correctly, he says, have the faith of God. What he's really saying here, he's saying, operate like God operates. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore, for this reason I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. Today we've talked quite a bit about saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag and how the values that we have held dear down through generations today are coming under attack and they're being challenged. Never in history has there been an all-out attack on Christianity and morality as we're seeing it today. The one thing that the enemy hates and will stop at nothing to stop it. And that is the voice of the gospel. You can be born again, you can have the gift, you can have the word, but don't talk about it. Because when you when you recognize you're a child of God, you have the gift of God, you have the word of God, you have access to his power, then when you speak the word of God, you are using the breath of God. You can't talk without breathing. When you use the breath of God to speak what you believe in, the Word of God, everything has to become subject to it. Once faith gets a word and that word gets a voice or a confession, Nothing will stop it. Once the Word of God gets the voice of the child of God, I don't know if you listen or not. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. And as a child of God, I've been given the authority to speak the things of God. And when I speak the things of God with the breath of God, the mountain has to move. Because, why? Greater, you got it, is he that is within me than he that is in the world. If there's anything that hell wants to do is stop you from talking. You can walk all you want to, just don't talk and walk at the same time. Greater is he that's within me that created all things through the spoken word than those who come to steal, to kill, and to destroy it.